Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. Happy New Year. Um, I was with you on January the 1st, and today should be January the 4th. So I hope that your week has uh, gone well. And by now, probably you're, you're uh, back at school or you're back at home um, or you're away. Uh, you've done all of your uh, Christmas stuff and uh, maybe even you've put all of your Christmas decorations away. We don't know, but I'm glad that you're with me today. Today's devotional and beginning for the rest of this month, we're going to be looking at some different passages in the book of Proverbs. Um, Proverbs has 31 chapters and so literally... Um, every day you could take one of these Proverbs and read it and uh, get something out of it for God to work um, on your heart with over the course of that day. And so today we're in Proverbs chapter 4, and uh, this is entitled Get Wisdom. And so let me just uh, read part of this passage to you. Proverbs chapter 4, beginning in verse 1, says, Hear, my children, the instruction of a father. God is our father. If we're in Jesus Christ, then God is our father. He is our heavenly father, and we're able to come before him. And he does give us instruction, and his Holy Spirit helps us to take the instruction of his word and apply it to our life. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father. Let your heart retain my words, keep my commands, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Love her, that is wisdom, and she will keep you. You know, for the person who takes the word of God and applies it to their life, whether they are new at reading through the scripture or whether they have done it over and over again. I've met people over the course of my life that have never ever written, written, never ever read through the Bible. Um, They have read through parts of the Bible, but they've never read through the whole Bible on its own. And then I've met people who read through the Bible on a regular basis um, every year. In fact, I have one friend um, that every year buys a brand brand new Bible, and then he starts on January the 1st, and he works his way all the way through to December 31st reading it. God's Word is His wisdom given to us. And as we take that wisdom and apply it to our life, um, the Holy Spirit uses that to mold and shape us, to make us more like Jesus Christ, God's Son. Everybody should have as their goal to become more Christ-like in all things. And when we're striving for that Christ-likeness, we are pleasing unto the Lord. Let me read this passage again to you. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father. Let your heart retain my words, keep my commands, and live Get wisdom and get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. For, or excuse me, do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Love her and she will keep you. God's word is strong and mighty. It's inspired by him. It's flawless in every way. Take it, use it, read it, study it, pray over it. And have it as your guide over the course of your day, over the course of your week, over the course of your year, over the course of your life. And you will grow in your relationship with God the Father. The Temple Baptist Church, we'd love to help you with that. If you don't have a church home, we invite you to come and join us here. We meet on Sundays at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., again at 6 p.m. and on Wednesday nights at 7 God bless you, and I hope that you'll join me again next time as we look at um, a passage in Proverbs chapter 8. See you then.